Hello everyone, my name is Mohamed Radwan. I'm a Visual Studio LM MVP and Senior LM Consultant at Marvel LM. This video is part of the series of upgrading TFS 2010 to TFS 2012 with migration to a new hardware. This video will cover part 3, preparing the new machine and the installed SQL server. In this part, we were trying to prepare the new machine and install prerequisite for TFS 2012. So we have three sections here. Uh, section 1 prepares a new machine for DNS, join the domain and install Windows feature which is .NET Framework 3.5 Section 2 install Microsoft SQL Server 2012 Service Pack 1 Enterprise Edition Section 3 share a folder that will be used for backup uh, the file Go to the new machine, it has Windows Server 2012 with latest updates I will configure the IP to point the DNS of the domain controller. Let's go and remove IB version 6 and configure IB version 4. I will type the IB of the domain controller so we can join the domain. Okay. After that, let's change the name of the computer and join the domain. Right click property. Advanced. I will write TFS 12 up this is the machine name and here I will enter the domain dc08.com I will enter the domain admin account emerald1 and my password welcome okay Okay. Restart the machine. Now let's log in with domain admin account in mod one. Okay. I will now go to add role feature next next. So I give the feature and I will check .NET Framework 3.5 Restart if needed and click specify source I will insert the Windows Server 2012 CD the ISO file into my DVD drive and then put the source here to the file needed for the installation I prefer to check the path ok it's ok let's start installing feature and the installation complete I'll insert the DVD or the media of the SQL Server 2012 Service Pack 1 Enterprise Edition. Run setup. Yes. Let's close this. Install new SQL installation. Okay, close. Product key. Accept. I can choose this to send information as we want. So, okay, okay. Make us SQL Server installation feature. Okay. I will choose here the database, full text analysis, reporting, client tool connectivity, and management tool basic. Make us. Next. Okay, next. The default in instance. Okay, everything is going well. Here I will make every service as a automatic and leave the default. The collision must be very important to match the old server collision. I will add the current and TFS service, which is the service account used. TFS configuration 
I will add also for the analysis service. Okay, so now the installation starts. Okay, installation now complete. We will close this and start to create the shared folder share share and I will add everyone on the read and write this file folder will be used for restoring and backup files at the end I'd like to thank you for watching this video I would be more than happy for answering any inquiry about the content thank you